guys, this is Jay from Cute Toots, and today we are going to be creating a disk partition. But we are not going to be using disk management. Instead, we are going to be using a software called Eases Partition Master. The first thing you've got to do is go to the website and download the software if you haven't already. I'll leave the link in the description below for you to download. Once you've downloaded and ran the software, here's what it should look like when launched. So as we can see, we have five different disk partitions here, two of which are main partitions, namely drive C and drive D. This is how it should look like when we view it via disk management. The rest with an asterisk symbol denotes hidden partitions for system recovery, bootloader, and whatnot. We are now going to select which drive we're going to get a certain amount of space to assign to a partition we'll create. I'd like to deduct 50 gigabytes of space from drive C for a virtual machine I'm intending to create. So what we need to do is right click on the selected disk partition and we'll now see the same submenu choices you're seeing on the sidebar. And then I'm going to choose resize or move. Right after that, I'm going to drag this towards the right not the other way around. You don't touch this and then drag this towards the left, no. Instead, you drag this from left to right, okay? And as you do that, the value here will change. So let's just do that. And so we are going to be allocating, we're getting or deducting around 50 gigabytes. So I want it to be 50.2, perhaps. No, actually, um, I want it to be 50.1. Yep, sorry. Yes, sorry. Okay. And as you can see, there's this space here that you can see here this like empty space or like a transparent pixels actually represents empty space, right? Now there's a space of 324 MB gap there. And it's also assigned as an allocated space here in our total disk, but that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is drag this towards the right, right there. And now you can see that it zeroed it out. So it's now 0 MB. And you can also see that the unallocated space of around 300 MB is now gone. Now we're left with 50.42. I'm going to change this to 50.15 perhaps. There. And for 16.03 here. Okay, 0.03, and I'm hoping that that is exact because I'm really done with math. So that's 416.03. We're left at with that value, and we have exactly 50.15 gigabytes here. But again, we have a problem. We're seeing another empty space here, and we want to get rid of that. So what we do, since we already have the exact amount that we are going to be getting and the exact amount that is going to be left after the deduction, then we are going to drag this to the right, just to drag that space there and then transfer it here. So now we're left with zero MB and there's no unallocated space that you're seeing there for around three MB and we're good to go. So we should be good. I'm happy with that. And then now we need to press or select or execute the file by pressing here. And once we do that, the computer is going to ask us for a reboot and I'll see you on the next slide. All right, and the restart is done and I just got back to the computer and now we're going to check if the partition has now been applied. Okay, as we can see on the file explorer here, we're now seeing the additional partition that we just created. And it's now at 49.9 gigabytes from 50.1 gigabytes. I think that's good. Okay, now we're up for two more partitions to create. 
So let's go to Eza's Precision Master. And then now we are going to select the drive that we are going to deduct space from. And this time we are going to select drive D. So again, do the same drill, right click on the selected drive, and then click on resize and move. Now we're going to drag this to the right. And I'm gonna allocate or deduct around 26. 26.15, I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna try that. There's actually a way for, we, for us to do it. Grab our calculators. I'm really done with math, so I have to do <laughs> I have to do this using a calculator, y'all. I'm just going to subtract this digits. I'm gonna subtract 464.08. Alright, minus our desired space to deduct. I'm gonna do 26. Actually, you know what? We'll just do exactly 26. All right, so we should be left at or with 438.08. 438.08, so. 8.08. Boom, okay. We still have a gap of two megabytes, but that's okay. All right, so we now have the exact space of 26 gigabytes and we should have the exact leftover of 438.08 gigabytes or the partition size that is going to be left after we have deducted 26 gigabytes okay and then we need to hit okay all right so what am i going to do with it an allocated space of 26 gigabytes well We'll make this unallocated space into the intended partition. So let's now right click on the unallocated partition. Select create. And this window that would ask us to fill out certain boxes should pop up. This allows us to select a letter for the partition we are making. I'm just going to select the letter F and I'm going to name it files. Make sure everything is filled out and the values here are all zeros and click OK. All right, so we are now seeing F here and it has been allocated with 26 gigabytes of space. Now I'm going to divide this into two. One partition will be another data drive that will serve as my storage for unsorted files that have yet to organize to drive D. Just so I could avoid losing precious data just in case the computer encounters a sudden recovery install. The other, I will allot for a Windows recovery bootable drive. Of course, we do the same drill. Right click on the selected drive or partition and then click on resize or move. And I'm just going to allocate here. How much is that? Six gigabytes. You know what? You know, probably you can just whoops already. Can we do just six without me calculating stuff here? Hope so. So we're now left with a gap of sixty-four. I'm just gonna drag that. And I hope this is the exact number. Oops, not so yeah, to be safe, I'm just going to, we have 26, right? Where is it? All right, we have 26 minus, are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, am I really using a calculator for this one? My gosh, college failed me. All right, so the partition size that is going to be left is 20 gigabytes and then the available will be for another partition is going to be six gigabytes all right let's hit okay since everything's good and 
we should be good to go. And a new unallocated partition popped up. And so what we need to do is we need to make this unallocated partition into an official label partition with a drive letter and a drive name or label. So we do the same drill. We right click on it and click create. And a window should pop up. Then we'll assign a letter for it. I'm going to name this R or I'm going to choose the letter R for recovery. We should be good to go. Everything's good. NTFS, just like the rest of the primary partitions. We have zero and zero here. Click OK. Boom, done. Now we have around three operations to be executed here. Let's just click on that. And it's going to do the magic for you. Hit apply. And the good thing is we don't need to restart the computer because it's not going to ask for it. I think if I got it right, it's only going to ask for a reboot if we create a partition from C, but it's not going to ask for a restart if we take away the space from drive D. Make sense? So since we're creating or deducting it from drive D, I think we're good to go. And it should be done in a bit. Just move this. All right. And since that's finished, click finish. And we should be seeing that on the file explorer. Now let's go ahead and check file explorer. Explorer is our friend. Oops. And now, as you can see, we now have the two other partitions that we just created. And the computer didn't ask us for a reboot. But you know what, guys? I'm still going to restart the computer before I do anything, just so you know. I make sure it's completely ready. I'm not sure, but just to be sure. <laughs> anyway, so we are done, and I hope you learned a thing or two through this tutorial or clarified some of your questions regarding how you can create a partition through Eza's Partition Master. This video is not sponsored, by the way. And just a disclaimer, I am not a tech wizard or witch. <laughs> I'm just filming my process because I noticed I ain't seeing anyone with voiceovers on their setups. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if this video helps in some way, you can consider subscribing for more videos and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated for other cute or sometimes tech, who knows, related stuff in the future. I'll see you again soon. Bye! We need to create the intended partition through this unallocated space. We need to create the intended partition through this unallocated space. We need to create the intended partition through this unallocated space. We need to create the intended partition through this unallocated space. Well, we'll make this unallocated space into the intended partition.